Welcome back, everyone. Drexel University is helping fashion students get a foot in the door, so to speak. Yeah, Pat's back to tell us about a special sneaker program. Hi there, Pat. Hi, guys. Just, uh, this is a lovely closet of sneakers that I have <laughs> here. A lot for, of more, shoes. for more than 30 years, Sean Williams has been a sneaker obsessive. He's at a front row seat while witnessing the industry undergo massive changes. Now he's hoping to share his wisdom with students at Drexel. <laughs> Sneakers are a $75 billion industry, but premium kicks weren't always a beloved staple of society. Sneakers are a major part of the hip hop experience because the shoe represents anti-establishment. Sneakers were always that article of footwear that you couldn't get into places with. You couldn't go to church, you couldn't go to work, people didn't get married in them. Sean Williams, Drexel Rankin Scholar and renowned sneaker expert, has seen the shift of sneaker culture firsthand, working with major brands like Adidas. His love of sneaks goes back 30 plus years. I have had over 4,000 pairs of sneakers in this lifetime. Williams turned that passion into a popular podcast called Obsessive Sneaker Disorder back in 2007. That led to a program called Social Studies. Social Studies started as an education initiative to one, heighten the awareness of people about the jobs in the sneaker industry, and then empower them through education to steer them towards being the future professionals in the industry. That was the goal. Drexel professor Dr. Joe Hancock saw Sean as a good fit to expand the school's approach to fashion education. As I say a lot of times, academia has a tendency to somewhat live in a, in a box, in a tower, and it's really important that we hit the streets and see what's really going on and relate that to students in the classroom. As part of the university's deep dive into footwear fashion, Sean helped create this homage to our city's heart and soul. This is the Soul of Philadelphia sneaker exhibit exclusive to Drexel University here, curated to tell the story of Philly's important role in sneaker culture and history. The wall includes the iconic Iversons and Barclays, and even dad shoes. It serves as a visual connection to the three-part class that Williams hopes will open eyes to a new world of sneaker lovers, especially women and minorities. I just never found it fair that there was no one coming back to share this opportunity and put them along this train of thought towards being the next, you know, the next generation of professionals in the industry. So that was our mission from the time we started social studies. That's our mission today. So cool to meet up with Sean and see the, the collection. But what really got Jim Donovan out of his seat, the dad <laughs> shoes. The dad shoes. I have those. Those are New Balance. I have two pairs of sneakers. That's all you that need. Says it, I only have that says it no all comment. pretty much. How many pairs do you have? I have like 20 to 25 pairs. 25 pairs of sneakers unless you're 10 years old. He's having it. All right, okay. Jeez.